Hi, I'm Hannah Stefanoff and these are your Rock TV announcements. Starting on Monday during lunch, you can purchase tickets to prom. Tickets will be $30 until March 28th and $35 after spring break. Don't forget to buy your yearbook, $65 now until April 16th. Cafe visits, National Guard Wednesday, March 21st, Army Thursday, March 22nd, Marines Tuesday, March 27th, Navy Thursday, April 19th. College Signing Day, the Athletic Department will host a College Signing Day on March 22nd during sixth period. Stop by the Athletic Office to register for the event. Any WHS College Bound senior who registers for the 2018 Fitness Walk or 5K race will have their name entered one time in a $350 Underground Railroad Run scholarship drawing. Close your eyes. See with mine. With a $150 million movie budget, including movie production and film advertisement, the film only rolled in around $33 million in sales its first weekend. Compare, compare that to the biggest movie right now produced by Disney, The Black Panther. They rolled in $120 million in the United States alone. This has Disney asking themselves where they went wrong. The critics say it's bad targeting. The film is targeted towards 8 to 14 year olds. The film alone talks about a fifth dimension and possible other worlds, something an 8 year old will never grasp. Why target a film to those who wouldn't grasp the reason of the movie? From a movie with so much potential to hit it out of the park, you couldn't have felt more underwhelmed. From the mediocre soundtrack to the overused stereotypical lines, there are moments watching the movie I feel like I know exactly what the next lines were going to be. The film never kept me on the edge of my seat and that's why The Wrinkle in Time is a movie bust. I'll see you again in two weeks and hopefully we'll see the next movie must. Shout out Connor Maris for being a great best friend. A big shout out to Mrs. Gibbs for the Dina Marathon. Shout out Connor Maris for being a great friend. I'm Sam Elliott and I want to shout out Mr. Bowsman. Hey, I miss you, bro. Go Abes. I just wanted to give a shout out to Evan Buck. He's the best goalie out there. Uh, eat it up, buddy. I just want to give a shout out to Achete for being an amazing teacher and inspiring students to learn more about different languages and cultures. I shout out Caleb Pettyjohn for being the best brother ever. I shout out Jackson Cruz for always showing up to school on time. I must shout out and thoroughly embarrass my grandson, Andrew Hunter Cook. All right, what motivated you to come outside today and walk? I wanted to uh, spread awareness of uh, this social issue. Um, as a student, it's really easy to think that I'm not 18, I can't vote, my voice doesn't matter, but it does. And we can do something, we can stand up together and really make a change and show everyone that Westfield cares. Just about hearing everything that happened, I felt like we should all come and support for the community and raise awareness for this because this should never happen again. Uh, basically just to support our student body. I actually knew two people, um, a teacher and a student at Stoneman Douglas, and that really just made me want to um, stand up for this cause, and I did tell them that Westfield High School is with them in marching. Just to help and like show awareness for this whole cause and situation that's been going on lately in the community and in the entire country. What do you think we can do as a community ourselves to bring more awareness to this issue? Uh, I'd say we can keep on doing this every year and just not stop fighting this. Well, um, I, I do believe that we should pursue reforms, but, but also in terms of what we for sure can do, I do think we can all treat each other with more kindness. I mean, I, I just think spiritually and just 
from a love standpoint, we need to love each other more. Yep. Start there, and that's something we all can do. Put down our phones for a second, treat each other better, treat each other more kind, and, and that's something we all can do. Start talking about it. Don't be afraid to talk about things that are uncomfortable. Um, things that need to be talked about should be talked about. And in the classroom, outside, in our communities, in our families, there's more we can be doing. So let's get going. Um, I just think all coming together and more awareness, I think it's not something that's talked about a lot. And since this has happened, um, it has brought attention to it. And I think just this alone will really make a big impact. Thanks for watching Westwood. Hope you have a sparkly weekend.